Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel IT Bro. You can watch it for a strong lay foundation of information technology and promises you to give you conceptual knowledge in computer. Keep watching in for latest videos. Time to time I will come for with the latest video in computer. Thank you. Okay, let us talk about placing text in shapes. You can also use shapes for inserting the text. Select the shape of your choice. Drag the selected shape according to your need. Now right click on the drawing object and select the add text option from the shortcut menu. The insertion point appears in the box. Now you can type the text. Before we move further, can you differentiate between shape fill tool versus shape outline tool? All right students, let us now learn how to use drawing tools. All the drawing features are present in the shapes drop down menu. Let us use our creativity to make a hut. Select the line tool and draw the outline of hut. Hold down the shift key and select the outline of hut. Click on the shape outline drop down list. In the shape styles group, on the format tab, select weight option and click on three point line. To draw a door, select the rectangle tool and drag inside the hut. Click on the shape fill tool in the shape styles group on the format tab and fill any color of your choice. Now change the line color by selecting the shape outline tool. Select the oval tool and draw a window in a hut. To duplicate the drawing objects, you can use Ctrl plus C for copying and Ctrl plus V for pasting the objects. To make clouds, click on call outs option in shapes list and select cloud call out. Now drag the shape. Fill gray color inside it. To display rain shower, draw a line then select the dashes option from the shape outline tool on the format tab. Select the square dots and observe its effect. To repeat the lines, press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Type the text beautiful hut and select it. Change the text color by selecting the font color tool in the font group on the home tab. Now we will discuss how to insert clip art. Clip art is a gallery of pre-designed pictures that can be inserted directly in a document. Place the cursor where you want to insert a picture. Click on clip art button in the illustrations group on the insert tab. The clip art task pane is displayed on the right of the window. Type the desired keyword in the search for text box that is related to the image you wish to insert. For example, computer and click on go button. It will display all the clip art images related to computer. View the various clip art images using vertical scroll bar and click on the desired clip art image to insert. Let's now learn about inserting symbols and special characters. Symbols and special characters are punctuation, spacing or typographical characters that are not generally available on the standard keyboard. They can be inserted from the symbol dialog box. To insert symbols and special characters in a document, follow the steps. Place the cursor at the position where you want to insert a symbol. Click on the symbol button in the symbols group on the insert tab. Select more symbols option. The symbol dialog box appears. Select the symbols tab if it is not selected. Select the font of your choice from the drop down list. Examples, paintings. Choose the symbol and click on the insert button. Click on close button to close the box. Alright, now I will tell you about applying shadow. You can apply shadow effect on any object. You can also change the color of the shadow and set its position.
draw any object using shapes button in the illustrations group on insert tab. Select the shape and click on the shadow effects button in shadow effects group on the format tab. Select the desired shadow effect. It will be applied to the object. Students, note these points. You can change the shadow settings by selecting the shadow effects from the shadow effects drop down menu. Similarly, you can apply 3D effects to an object by clicking the 3D effect button on the format tab. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. A style is a predefined combination of formatting features, font style, color and size of text that can be applied to the selected text in order to change its appearance. Character and paragraph are two types of style. Symbols are punctuation, spacing or typographical characters that are generally not available on the keyboard. Word art feature allows the user to create special text effects. Text box is a placeholder where text can be entered. It can be moved along with its contents anywhere in the document. Shapes are a group of ready-made shapes that can be inserted directly into the document. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you will like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you very much.